Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center and today it's about 15 degrees and we're gonna try to get through this video. Hopefully the camera stays on. If not, we'll take it inside and we'll continue the video. So I just wanted to talk about a few things. First and foremost, these gloves, you know, when you're watering your rabbits, your gloves will get wet, uh, especially when you're trying to pop the ice bowls out and using warm water. So these, these gloves really come in handy. And you'll probably have heard me talk about them before. They're on our Rabbitry Tools uh, page because we just really find them. I mean, they're like a game changer. So you can come out here, you don't have to worry about your gloves getting wet and then putting them by the fireplace. But these do actually get damp from time to time on the inside. And if you let them stay wet like that it's a breeding ground for bacteria so you're gonna want to put these on the boot dryer uh, I just usually roll up the sleeves to about the, the right at the beginning of the hand and that allows a little bit more or less room that it has to actually dry makes them dry faster so that's a good tip for these gloves just wanted to share that this time of year we get more hits on our channel because folks are concerned about their rabbits overwintering and you know it's just the biggest misconception that rabbits are actually you know they're not uncomfortable at all in the winter time and, and they're they look forward to these cold temperatures if they could talk they'd tell you you know winter time is our favorite time because they don't have to worry about the mosquitoes they they get to chew some ice which is really good for their teeth they enjoy chewing they also get a little bit more pellet because that helps them stay warm they don't have to worry about panting and, and being uncomfortable in the summertime you'll see your rabbits laying around a lot and they really are lethargic it's just because they're very uncomfortable and in the winter time you'll actually see your rabbits jumping around moving around they'll run up and down the runs up and down the ramps and you know i've heard folks talk about before how i would never let my rabbits run through the snow i would never let because they're concerned about them getting wet and staying wet but these rabbits can shake that snow right off the snow gets compacted you can do two things you can wrap it uh, plastic and the greenhouse effect will actually warm and melt the the snow in the area it'll actually give them a little bit more warmth out in the run but it's not really necessary we usually just put our corrugated plastic right over the top you know they'll come out into the run and they'll groom themselves and they'll sit out there and, and they just enjoy it it's important that they don't have a lot of water and snow and mud out there because they could bring that back into the kindling tote 
and that can chill the litter. You know, if you guys are having litters overwintering, and that's what's really cool about these kindling totes is you can breed your rabbits right through the winter time. I just happen to have a buck right there. He's he was trying to mark her. Yeah, that's what's really cool about these kindling totes. You know, I have a a doe right over my shoulder making a nest. She's mustaching all that hay right now. And, and what I'll do is I'll just pop the top on the tote and I'll dump a bunch of hay in there and it's that simple. We're actually out of straw. Hay will work in a pinch. I prefer straw for bedding and hay for feed. So, but this winter time, you know, when it comes to these cold temperatures and wind chill like that, you really want to put a a wind block in and you can stack bales of straw or hay or you can build a wall with pallets of wood you can go with one millimeter plastic and that's what we do we wrap the bottom when it comes to your nesting boxes you want to make sure you're using luon or a barrier on the bottom of your nesting boxes you don't want any uh, draft any airflow this time of year they just need a wind block and they need a little bit more pellet and that will keep them warm these rabbits do so good in cold temperatures and they're comfortable down to temperatures as, as low as negative 30. But all rabbits are a little different so it's important that you research your rabbit. So for example Rex rabbits have a shorter velvety fur and they're only comfortable down to temperatures negative 10 Fahrenheit. So all rabbits are a little different but they all do really well in cold temperatures. So, uh, so, so provide a wind block, a little bit more insulation, a little bit more pellet. Uh, make sure your water changes are Every 12 hours, they need water because if they don't drink, they won't eat. You've probably heard me say that before, so it's really important that they have that or they won't stay warm and they could they could expire in the cold. Our spigots are frozen, so we're filling up our water buckets at the faucet. We're carrying out lukewarm water. Uh, what we do is we fill both buckets up with lukewarm water. I'll pour most of the water into the one bucket and then I'll use whatever remaining water in the other bucket to dip the ice bowls in and pop the ice out and then that's our system. Sometimes we'll throw two water bowls in at a time and that kind of speeds things up where we can take two out, put two in, uh, but everybody has their own system. But this works well for us, but it's so important that you guys change your water every 12 hours. Make sure these, these rabbits have fresh water so they continue to eat, they can continue to stay warm. And uh, so I just wanted to share that, you guys. So I hope your rabbits are doing well. I also want to mention a fleece gaiter, fleece hat. These are warm garments that really make a difference. You know, a good pair of bibs at TSC or Farm and Fleet, the wind, you don't get the wind up your back. So it's really important that you stay warm because you don't want to just hate yourself when you're going out there to do your chores in uh, the really cold temps. Because you've heard me say it before, wintertime is harder on the person raising rabbits than it is the rabbits. Also some Arctic muck boots, those neoprene boots, uh, those are terrific. So I'll link this stuff down below so you can take a look at it and look at all the prices. So if you folks don't have something like this where the does can kindle out of the elements and these, these litters can stay insulated, it's probably best that you stick to, to spring and fall uh, when these litters won't be susceptible to um, overheating or, or freezing. You know, finding kits on the wire uh, frozen is just heartbreaking, but this is a way around that. So just wanted to share that. Um, so thank you to everybody that's purchased the course. The course is available on our website. There's also a link down below. Um, all the feedback has been great. Thank you so much for that. And I urge you to check it out if you want to take your rabbitry to the next level. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.